Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Very exciting day today. We are starting the Jasmine Beckett Griffith holiday collab with myself and Stephanie with the Patriotic team. And of course, Craftably is um, sponsoring this event and uh, donating a $50 gift card at the end of this event. Uh, this event runs December 1st today through January 31st. So that gives us, you know, two months to complete a Jasmine Beckett Griffith from Craftably. And I do want to let you know that um, I spoke with Michael and they are restocking all of the Jasmine Beckett Griffith uh, canvases. So what you can do is you can go onto their site, you can pre-order and you will get your, um, your canvas um, relatively quickly. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that. So they are restocking, so they will be getting those um, this week. Um, so you can pre-order and yeah. So what I'm going to do today for the start of the collab, I've already kitted up. Um, I've already kitted up. I had to use, <laughs> I had to use two tubs, two of my um, uh, little Tupperware tubs that I hold all my bags in. And what I did is I just took the sticker sheet and put them on the bags, which worked out perfectly. So um, all canvases get these new individual stickers. Come on camera. Um, so you can just, you know, uh, put the stickers on the bags that were provided to you. Um, going forward, I'm pretty sure they're going to have all of these pre-bagged again. Um, that's what I've been told. So let's, you know, let's hope, but no big deal. You can always just put the stickers on the bags that are provided. So that's kitted up, ready to go. Um, now what I'm going to do today for the start of the collab, I've had a, um, subscriber, uh, asked to see how I, put the parchment paper on my canvas. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Now what I use, I use the Zazu five and a half by five and a half, uh, double coated parchment baking paper squares. Now I looked on Amazon. I don't see this brand anymore. There is another brand and I'll have it linked down below, um, that you can get. It's basically the same exact thing. As long as you find parchment paper that is double coated, um, so that way it doesn't matter which side of the parchment paper you use on the canvas. Now I have never had a problem with using parchment paper on a canvas. Um, it always comes off fine for me. I've never had it damage the glue. So I'm a big fan of these and I like the fact that it comes in a five and a half by five and a half square because that's the area that I work on. And what I do is I pull off that parchment paper and then I just go numerically down the key code for the symbols and just do it, fill the square that way. And that's what works for me. Um, I'm very OCD and I'm very, um, structured, have a very structured personality. So I'd like things to be organized. So that is how I do it. So I am going to show you how I do this. Now this canvas is very, very large. Um, this is a, what size is this? This is a 60 by 80. So I can't, I can't even get all of this in the camera shot. And I'm sorry for the glare from my lights. Um, so I'm going to try to do it this way, but I think what I'm going to have to do is probably roll it and clip it and do it a little bit. In fact, yeah, I'm just going to do that because it's going to be easier for me. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. I know I am. I'm excited to start this canvas. I kitted it up last night and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to start it now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it image side out and it doesn't matter which way you roll it because, well, first of all, I'm sorry. First of all, I didn't even do the most important part. Okay. So the first thing you do is I just take out and I get 500 in this box. So there are plenty. Um, I take out a bunch of squares and what I do is I lay out the squares so I can see how many I need. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I always leave enough hanging on the outside. Let me see if I can move the camera for you to see that. I always have enough hanging on the outside out here to cover any sticky on the outside of the image. Sorry, I'm not trying to make you guys sick. Um, 
so that way dirt and stuff doesn't get on the outside um, so yeah so this looks like I'm gonna need probably five and a half squares long all right so I've got six squares and I'll just cut I'll cut that last square all right, so that's six long. I'll probably have to do that one, two, three, four. I might have to do that five times, maybe four times. So yeah, this is all I do is just line it up. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make sure you have enough parchment paper to cover, you know, all of the areas. If y'all hear my cats running in the background, I apologize. They are being very extra today and kept me up until 5 a.m. this morning playing. Um, yeah. And they don't like the fact that um, Adam has gone back to work in the office. So they're home with me. So in the morning when he leaves, um, yeah, they don't like it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I just lay it out so I know, but yeah, I had a couple of requests for seeing how I do this, so I figured this would be a good way to show you. Um, okay, canvas is going to be too big down here. Okay, so it looks like, one, two, three, I'm going to need four rows of six, and then I'm going to have probably can't see it no I'm, I've got a thin strip down at the end um, that I'm gonna have to cut pieces for okay so that's all right one two three four five six I need to pull one two three four five six okay then what I'm going to do is just put them together. I know this, this might be a little boring. I'm sorry, but <clears throat> excuse me. This is how I, this is how I do it. So then I'm just going to put these together like so, all six of them. And then I'm just going to, whoops. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to cut them right in half. There we go. And then those will be the ones that I use down on the bottom strip here that you can't see right now off camera. Okay, so got those. Let me put those to the side. Okay. All right, so then you take up all of your parchment paper. I'm so excited about this collab. Who all is working on this collab with us? I would love to know in the comments below. Uh, my first whip and chat for this will be on Thursday. And of course, like I've mentioned in my video, um, which I'll have up in the eye about the collab and the announcement of what you need to do to enter for prizes, um, you need to comment on my whip and chats and on Stephanie's whip and chats. Okay. All right, so now I've got all of those picked up. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around and I'm going to roll it. I always roll it image side out. It doesn't matter though because it's poured glue. Gonna roll a little bit, and I've got a little plastic clip, and I'm just gonna clip this here so it stays rolled. So, what I do is I start from the bottom and I just pull the paper up carefully, obviously. I already ripped the paper here, but that's okay.
Now, how do all of you work on a canvas? Let me know in the comments below. Do you just peel back and go? What do you do? Okay, so you're gonna lay, can you see this, hopefully? I'm gonna lay the first piece of paper down and I wanna have enough on the edges to cover It's the first piece and like I said these are double coated so I'm not worried about which side I use right you just want to kind of make sure there's no sticky showing when you do this and if you overlap a little it's no big deal okay and you just gently Use your hand and spread it out. That way you get all the air bubbles out. I do have a tool that I use. It's actually my um, straightening tool. I don't know where it is right now. Um, and I'll go over all of it when I'm done to clear out any bubbles. Yeah, so this is how I kit up my canvas. Um, the other option I use sometimes is using washi tape um, and sectioning, it, sectioning off the clear plastic with washi tape. Sometimes I do that. Okay, now here at this end we have an extra strip, so I'm going to take one of the ones I cut and use the straight edge that I didn't cut and line it up. There we go. All right, and there's one row. Pretty easy, huh? All right, now we're gonna work on the second row. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is how I do it. All right, so I guess this could be a little bit of a, I can tell you guys what's going on. Um, I hope everybody had a fabulous Thanksgiving. Um, mine was weird. Um, this was the first Thanksgiving um, not being with my family, um, or with Adam's family for that matter. Um, hold on, I just need to pull the plastic back some more. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a little strange. Um, I was a little down in the dumps, um, but I'm okay now. And, um, I'm sure some of you saw my other video. Um, we did have a family member um, that was diagnosed with COVID and we're, we're concerned. Um, it's um, this family member, I'm not gonna say who it is um, for privacy reasons, but this family member is older and um, we're just worried because the family member has health complications as well. Um, so we're just, yeah, we're just fingers crossed that they get through this. Um, so far it's just been shortness of breath and, uh, a fever. Um, but all I can say to everyone out there is just try to be careful and like do your best to to, you know, just, I know some people aren't a big fan of wearing masks, but you know what? It's not for you. It's for other people. And, you know, it's just, it's important. I'm a big advocate of, of that. So anyway, so yeah, we got that news. Um, I'm just going to keep rolling this down. And then pulling this back up. I, you know, I mean, you just you just got to be careful with with what you're doing out there. That's all. Okay. And then I just clip this to keep it back. You guys can still see. Okay. Yeah. Um. And I talked to my husband and we are going to, I wasn't going to put up our Christmas trees, but because 
we're not going to be spending Christmas with our families. Um, that really upsets me, but um, I know it's the right thing to do. Um, so to make it cheery in the house, since it's just going to be the two of us, I said, you know what, we're going to take the risk with the crazy cats and we're going to put the tree up. Um, yeah. So if anybody has any suggestions on how to keep um, 11 month old cats off of an eight foot tree, let me know. <laughs> I'm not putting any ornaments up. It's a pre-lit um, artificial tree. So it'll just have the lights. Um, oh, mailman's here. I have a story to tell you about that. I'll wait till I make sure they're off the porch. Um, yeah. Yeah, I had a nice chat with our post office today. Nice chat. Oh, and I want to thank everybody so much for uh, those of you that purchased We Wax. Oh, wait, that's the other strip. Um, I am going to be able to donate $300 to the National Alliance on Mental Illness. So, thank you so much for donating to that. Um, means a whole lot to me. That is a very important cause to me. Um, I have anxiety issues and um, depression, so um, it, that goes to a very good cause. Okay, so now, hopefully you guys, I'm sorry for the glare, you guys. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Okay, so yeah, the mailman just left. So I scheduled a pickup for all of the wee waxes for Saturday. And at the same time, I also did a separate pickup through the actual USPS site um, to send out a couple of packages um, separately from Etsy. Well, they picked up the packages I put in the mailbox but they didn't pick up the 34 packages that I had on the front door uh, at the front porch. And they've never missed picking up packages. So I don't know what happened. Um, by the time, you know, by the time I called, of course, they were closed on Saturday at like 12 noon. Um, I was very upset because I'm really, I'm really adamant as soon as you guys put orders in for We Wax. Um, and it sells out, I go ahead and get all the orders done. I mean, it takes me a very long time on Fridays, but I, I go ahead and, you know, package them, you know, print all the orders, purchase all the labels, print all the labels, put everything together and get the, um, and get the shipping, you know, get it scheduled for them to pick up for Saturday. Because I want to make sure that it goes out as soon as possible. And I know I've put on Etsy, you know, to give me one to two days for processing. Um, and that's just in case anything happens. But, yeah, I try to do it as quickly as possible. So, anyway, so they missed my Saturday pickup. I was so upset. So, what I did is I went into Etsy. I dismissed the pickup. And this was Saturday night because, obviously, they weren't going to pick it up. And I went into USPS into my account and went ahead and scheduled a new pickup for Monday. So, um, yeah, scheduled it for Monday, which is, um, when this is being pre-recorded. So actually Monday is today. You're not going to see this till Tuesday. Um, and I went ahead and I called the post office this morning and said, Hey, you know, I'm trying to run a business out of my house. I know, I know the mail is, you know, I know you all are busy, but I've never had you miss a pickup and don't know what happened, but I have rescheduled the pickup for Monday today. And I'd really appreciate it if you make sure that it gets picked up because this is for a business. Um, you know, I, I need why is this being a pain? Um, I really need you guys to pick it up today. 
um, she was very nice. Um, I didn't get, you know, I, there was no reason for me to get uppity with her at all. Um, yeah, this one doesn't want to go. So, all right, well, might have a little bit of a overlap here. Um, so like I said, she was, she was nice and understanding and said she was going to call the mail carrier and make sure, um, make sure that it got picked up. And lo and behold, I just, I just heard her here. So yes. Yay. So all the wee waxes got picked up. So again, um, I just want to thank everybody so much for that. Um, for purchasing those and I'm excited to be able to donate um, to the National Alliance on Mental Health and I will once Etsy puts the funds in my account I will go ahead and go to the NAMI website and pay that and donate and then I will show everyone the email I will post that in my Facebook group and on Instagram yes yay so excited that was awesome um, the scent for Friday is going to be uh, Santa's beard which is actually I'd say out of all of the scents probably my favorite um, it is an evergreen smell that is has an undertone of sugar cookies and it smells so good oh my gosh you have no idea it smells so good I did put some samples in some of the um, previous purchases so people could smell what it you know see what it smelled like so yeah um, and I've ordered some green tins so I have a few red tins left over from the apple cinnamon so I'm gonna mix it up and do some red and green um, for Santa's beard and I think what I'm gonna do is um, the week of Christmas, obviously. Now I'm just going to pull this plastic completely off and get rid of that. Okay. Sorry for the noise. Okay. So yeah, so this Friday, let me look at the calendar real quick. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see. All right. So this Friday is the fourth. That will be Santa's beard. Um, December 11th. Wait, oh, I went the wrong way. Sorry. No, nope, wrong way. Come on calendar. Okay. December 4th is Santa's beard. December 11th is going to be gingerbread. Um, and I'm going to all of my Patreons, um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and send out gingerbread tin to all of my high tiered Patreons that they get a wee wax tin for Christmas. Um, so yeah, the 11th will be gingerbread and then the 18th is going to be mistletoe. And then of course the week of Christmas, I'm putting the shop on vacation so that I can spend time uh, here with my husband and not be so stressed out. Um, and I am going to add peppermint, frosted peppermint back in one of those weeks. So one of those weeks I'll have frosted peppermint again because I've had a lot of people ask for that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. And just so you all know, I'm going to have a bunch of videos up this week. Um, I was sent sneak peeks from Diamond Art Club. I didn't ask for them, so don't put any, any comments down below. I'm not, I'm not affiliated with them. They were just very generous, and um, it freaked me out, actually, because I got, I got an email saying, you know, thanks for your order. Here are five, you know five diamond paintings. I'm like, whoa, I didn't order five diamond paintings. No, no, no. Cause I'm trying to really watch my money right now with Christmas and all of that. Um, so yeah, so 
I, I emailed them and was like, because it showed the amount, and then it showed that amount zeroed out. So I emailed, and um, they emailed me back and said, yeah, we're sending you sneak peeks. Now, this was this was last Sunday. I said, oh, okay, or last Friday, last Friday. Um, I said, oh, my gosh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, you know. Um, and, of course, all of these that I get are going to, I'm going to use as giveaways because uh, I think four of the five of them are square diamond painting. So anyway, so I was really happy and, and, you know, they told me, you know, when I could show them for Cyber Friday and Cyber Monday. Well, long story short, I still haven't gotten them. Today is Monday. So Cyber Monday is today. Still haven't gotten them. Um, the mail was delayed. I messaged them and said, you know, I see where it's it's stuck, and that's just how the mail is. I'm not I'm not upset about it. It just is what it is. So I will have um, uh, a video showing you those sneak peeks, which I guess aren't sneak peeks anymore. Um, and those will be used uh, for giveaways probably after the first of the year. Um, yeah. So I'll, anyway, it was very nice of Diamond Art Club to send those to me. So I really I really appreciate that. And um, Craftably is going to be having some really exciting things coming um, this week. So I'll have a video about that. Um, it's going to be a really busy week for videos, so just stay tuned. And um, I'm going to have my first whip and chat on, obviously, Jasmine Beckett Griffith to start that off. Um, so like I said, just make sure you um, comment on any whip and chat that Stephanie... Uh, with the patriotic team does or myself when you see a title of you know jbg whip and chat you know week one that's what mine's gonna say um, just make sure you comment on that because we're gonna do a random comment picker on youtube uh, to pull for winners throughout the event which is december 1st through january 31st so yay all right well i am all ready to go look at this i have got I've got my parchment paper on. Um, I've got my tubs of my cuts. And I just want to say, these stickers are great. Great. They went on so easy. Can y'all see that? Stop focusing on that. Focus on... Yeah, the stickers went on great. Um, the drills weren't staticky at all or stuck together, so that was nice. Um, and I appreciate the fact that craftably, you know counted out all the bags to make sure that you had enough. So that was really nice. So I am ready to go for our Jasmine Beckett Griffith collab. Woo! So anyway, um, yeah, so I hope all of you are going to join us. Um, you know, if you haven't gotten a canvas yet, like I said, they're restocking this week. Uh, you can go in, I looked this morning, you can go in and pre-order um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith canvases should still give you plenty of time to be able to do it. I mean, this is a two month long event. Um, so yeah, very excited to be doing this. So again, I want to thank Stephanie for doing this with me. And I want to thank Craftably for um, sponsoring this event. And of course, you know, Craftably giving the gift card. Um, Stephanie's doing a handmade uh, Christmas diamond painting pen. And I'm going to give away a tin of Wee Wax and Azox bracelet. So we're super excited about that. So anyway, so that is how I parchment paper up my kit, my canvas, I mean. So I hope that answered questions for those of you that wanted to see that. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll answer, answer them the best I can. And um, if you have any questions about the collab, please feel free to put those down below. Um, and yeah, if you're new, welcome. And I hope you can join in on the collab with us. Um, to all my Patreons, thank you so much for your continued support. And yeah, I think that's that. I'm going to go make some videos because the mail came and I have a feeling I got, I got a bunch of stuff today. So anyway, I hope everybody has a fabulous day and I will talk to you again really soon. Bye guys.